What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dontavious, aka DT, and today I'll be doing just a quick recap on some of my thoughts on the World Indoor Championships that were in Glasgow. Um, I'm not really sure what that is, but it was Glasgow or Glasgow, I don't know. But, so, the 60 meters, Christian Coleman is the World Indoor Champion, 60 meters, and Noah Lyles came second. Uh, the winning time was 6-4-1, and Noah ran 6-4-4, I believe. His PR is 6 4 3 and it was a really good race. Uh, Christian Coleman's start is just so great. Like, he just got out on everybody, and it was pretty much over then. After the first 10, 20 meters, he was already in front, and he, you're not going to catch him then. Like, he already out there. So, um, Noah tried to storm back late, but if you want to be able to beat uh, Coleman in that 60, he got he going to have to match that start some kind of way, you know, because he's such a strong finisher. But that was awesome. Um... The 4x4, four four, the men's 4x4 four four was very controversial. They put Noah on the 4x4, four four and people thought that Trevor Bassett should have been on that 4x4 four four since he, he is actually a 400 hurdler and a 400 hurdler specialist and also a 400 meter runner, which is why he's he was there at the World Championships for the 400 and the 4x4. Four four. And yeah, and they thought he should have been on it. I don't really want to speak too much on it because it is very controversial. Um, but USA ended up coming away with the silver medal, which is great, but we were so close to the goal. We had four guys run 45. We had four guys run 45 and we did not get the goal. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is an indoor track. Like people aren't like busting 44, like, like consistently, like it's 45 or nothing most times. So the fact that we had four guys run 45 and we still ain't come up with a goal is kind of crazy, honestly. Like, that that really showed, like, Belgium was really sliding. And they was a defending champ. So, Belgium was sliding, bro. Crazy. Like, I just don't get it. But that's okay. That's okay. We can't win them all. But Paris coming up and hoping we can put together some good teams and praying I'll be a part of that Paris team and get to, you know, enjoy myself and have fun, you know, meet meet people like LeBron, Steph Curry, like, I would love to be on the team with all them folks. But also, what else happened? Aaliyah Hobbs ended up having to pull out of the women's 60 meter. Um, she said she was not injured, but she said she just, she it was a health precaution, you know. At the end of the day, this is the World Indoor Championship, but what's most important is the Paris 2024 Olympics. So people really want to be ready and in shape for that. No need to risk in really actually getting yourself taken out this early. Uh, so... I know she was disappointed, but she made the decision that she felt like was best for her and her career and her health. And I'm I'm glad she did it. You know, I mean, I, I hate that she got hurt. Oh, well, I hate that she had a precaution, precautionary uh, thing to have to take. But glad she's not actually injured and she'll be running because she is like one of the fastest Americans we have. Um. Oh, yeah. Grant Holloway got him another world indoor title another world title he's been they said he was undefeated he's been undefeated in the 60 meter, 60 meter hurdles for 10 years that was since i was 14 years old i'm 24 now he's been undefeated for a decade which is ridiculous imagine that imagine being so dominant that you have not lost a race in 10 years like he's 63 for 63 over the past 10 years can't be replicated that happened um I don't know the results of the women's 60 meter hurdles. All I know is Masab made it to the final. She was uh ble oh yeah, Devine or or Devin, Devin from um they said Devin on the announcements, but the Bohemian, the Bahamas girl who who ran in Kentucky, she ended up, I believe she won the World Indoor Championship and she broke the world record again. The girl is a beast. I, she's a beast, man. Kentucky really breed them that way, but yeah, she ended up winning the hurdles. I think the world new world record is 765. Um, keep that in um, perspective. The men's world record is 727 or 28 by Grant Holloway. It's 28 and he ran 29 to win. And the women's is 765. So the, the women are getting faster and faster and the men are getting faster too. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on and give you guys just a, a real quick recap of what's been going on at the world championships. And the biggest things that I saw. Also, another another great thing in the high jump, Shelby McEwen, the American, he ended up getting his first international medal, which is so good for him because he's been on a lot of teams uh, since since the 2020, 
since 2019 with the world championship team. So he's been on teams pretty much every year since that 2019 season. So we're like four or five years into him making these senior teams and he finally got his first international middle. He jumped 228, seven, five and three quarters. So congrats to Shelby. Shout out Shelby, man. He, he works hard and glad to see him be able to succeed. Like I competed against him in college. He's a, a guy that's above me. Like I kind of look up to him in, in a way, you know, he was, when I was a freshman in Auburn, he was like a junior senior at, at University of Alabama. So I was like, dang, he's jumping high. I want to be jumping at like that someday. And yeah, congrats to Shelby. So, so proud of him. Vernon also jumped in the competition. He ended up jumping 224. He was, um, I think he finished either fifth or sixth. He was, uh, he had to clear the next bar. His, the next bar would have got him in the top four position. I'm not sure how many misses he had, but he was, he was that close to also being on the podium along with Shelby. Maybe if he would have cleared, he probably would have been number three, depending on the misses, but I don't really know what happened. But yeah, that's the majority of my World Indoor Championships recap thus far. Tara Davis, Tara Davis. Tara Davis got her gold in the World Indoor Championships. Great for her. She's such a, um emotional figure. Like, she's uh brings a lot of joy to the sport, a lot of fun. Like, just, just pure joy, man. You love to see it. And that's a good person to have in the sport. Love Tara. So glad she was able to come up with that gold. And am I forgetting anybody? I am forgetting a lot of people. Because, I mean, I've just been tuning in, tapping into the championship, checking on the results. I haven't been fully tuned in. Just been checking in on it. But thank y'all for tuning in. I had to make sure to go ahead and drop one a day because we've been dropping one every day and we're not going to stop. It don't matter what time it is. We're going to get one in a day. So please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram at Dontavious Hill. We post motivational, inspirational content. Come to YouTube for this long-form content that I'm steadily pushing out, bringing to y'all, giving y'all information, helping y'all get better at the sport, giving y'all information in regards to the sport. And yeah, just spreading positivity. But yeah, we out of there.